okay? She chastises him for being a part of the street life and not to get mad at her for having standards. Oh, midnight. Or Bilal, old day, whatever your name is. Oh, she told you. She told you. Don't be mad at me because I don't want that dope dealer dick. If you have not already done so, please remember to like this video because it is so important. Again, please like this video. Also, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are not already a part of our book club, please remember to hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube. And for a small monthly fee of $5, you babies can be privy to all the shenanigans before YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. Now, let's talk about uh, The Coldest Winter Ever, Ever by Sister Soldier, part I don't know, okay? Y'all know when we start winding these videos down, I don't freaking know. So she is now in the uh, $60 hotel. Uh, it was the Holiday Inn, not the Red Roof Inn. Because I told you when you go to the Red Roof Inn, it's only two things you want to do there. But, you know, sell pussy or buy pussy. So anyway, she's cuddled up in the bed and she opens the file of Bilal. Okay? Bilal is midnight. So inside the files, she finds letters. Now, the first letter is May 1993. Dear Bilal. Okay, in this letter, Sister Soldier is explaining to Midnight that she was impressed by him when she first saw him in the uh, library of Columbia University. Okay, he was intriguing to her, he was intriguing to her because she didn't find many black men wanting to educate themselves on a higher level. Okay. Midnight was very attractive to Sister Soldier and a mutual friend. What was his name? Oh, I forget his name, but he was a mutual friend or a mutual colleague between the two, okay? I think his name was Phil. Phil had took, you know, Midnight and said, Midnight, this is Sister Soldier. Now, they exchanged numbers, and through the conversation, Sister inquired about what he did for a living. Midnight responded, I'm a businessman, baby. I do business. You sure do. I won't deny that shit. Now, if it's legal or not illegal, I mean, that's all you, brother. Okay, and I don't know why Sister Soldier wants to even know more than that. Okay, you know, I don't know. Don't tell me shit. Okay, because if we go on the stand, I mean, uh, you can't, uh, yeah. Now, uh, Soldier, being her, pressed the issue. Okay, she said, Well, what kind of business you in, Midnight? He said, uh, The car business, baby. I have a car service business. Sister Soldier says, Car service? Okay. Now, Winter is reading all of this. Okay, now I don't know why in her spirit she's not like, damn, the man that I love and has been pursuing likes that kind of woman, you know? So that would make me be like, well, why am I being this, you know, treacherous person, you know? There's a different side of the world, you know? Education, class, don't beat old ladies in the head with rock'em sock'em robots. Okay, be good to the universe. So, she right. reads on in the first letter. Now they began to chill with each other once a week. Okay, and they enjoyed each other's time. But because they both were very busy people. Listen, when you're in college, oh my God. Now I don't know about Sister Soldier, but when I was working and going to school in college at the University of the District of Columbia, okay, go Firebirds, I was working hard as shit. Plus, I had a relationship. Plus, I was working um, a full-time job. That shit was hard to me. So, I dig it. You don't really have time. Plus, that nigga Bilal, you know, is out on the block. So, he ain't got time to be, you know, chasing behind the sister and the soldier. Now, since, since the soldier sent some kind of treachery, 
okay, going on with her friend Bilal Ode, because that is his real name, Bilal Ode. She digged even further, okay. So what about your uh, car service? Where is it? What 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 is your, you know, just digging, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, Joe, the dude like you, girl. He like you. Yes. Stop asking so many questions. After a couple of months, Sister Soldier had said that, okay, our sweet romance must end, okay? Because I know you, Ninja. I see you, Ninja. I know exactly who you are. You been knew who she was or who he was, Sister Soldier. You been knew who he was, but you was intrigued by him, okay? And basically, Midnight said, F you be. Bounce. Now, in July 1993, the second letter from Midnight to Sister Soldier said that he told her that he missed her, and he reflected back on the conversation he did when he responded to her and said, fuck you, bitch, bounce, and he apologized. He okay. also said that now he understands why he's not attracted to empty-headed girls. Like you, Winter, like you, you empty-headed. I'm different. I'm not like those regular block boys, you know? I like my women to have some type of substance, you know? Mean an education and a good head on their shoulders. It's just, unfortunately, the realness of it is that some of us, and I say us, don't get that sense of self until we get older, like in our 30s. You know what I'm saying? We make a lot of mistakes along the way. Now, I'm not saying I did things like winter because I ain't never balked no old woman over top of the head with a rock'em sock'em robot, okay, and then walked away with all her, you know, gold and jewelries and Gucci shoes. I'm not saying that, but I know I have made some mistakes in my past. It is some people that I look back at and I was like, and I'd be like, why did I get that nigga some pussy? Was I bored or something? And Midnight wanted his women to be smart and bright and educated and no self-worth early, early on. Midnight says to Sister Soldier, listen, just give a man a break. I miss you. Please give me a call. Okay. Okay. September 1993, the third letter to Sister Soldier was displaying anger. Okay, He was disappointed that she did not return his sentiment, and he lashed out at her again, claiming that she thought that she was better than the men that she Claims to try, you know, like I said before, with ninjas, when they get in their feelings, you know, you know, if they can't get you with the flowers, then you're an ugly fish pussy bitch. You know how it is with ninjas. I will right? always say this. A man is physically stronger than us, okay? But we are mentally stronger than them, okay? I bounce back, recovery be like, you know, bam, them. They lose one bitch. They lose their mind. In September 1993, sister responds, okay? She chastises him for being a part of the street life and not to get mad at her for having standards. Oh, midnight. Or oh, Bilal, oh, day, whatever your name is. Oh, she told you. She told you. Don't be mad at me because I don't want that dope dealer dick. September 93, midnight responds. And what a response. It was, you wanted raw dog? Ooh, I wasn't ready for a raw dog, okay? I wasn't ready for a raw dog, but here it goes. He said, I tried to hold back because of my respect for you. You won't see me, so at this point, I have nothing to lose. Men and women will never think the same. They live different lives, separate realities. Women want love, peace, unity, and shit like that. Men are tribal. I ain't trying to save the world. I'm just trying to get my peace up. That's all it's about, and that's the most you can ask for. What you know about that, soldier? So the letter continues to explain that Bilal Ode, okay, is from Sudan. His father was killed in the war. Midnight's mother is pregnant or was pregnant when they came to America at the age of seven. They teased him over his accent, so he got rid of his accent. He explained that in 14, at 14 years old, he killed his first man for trying to rape his sister. In jail, he fought for his life. He gave the fight, he gave the fight a good one, okay? But ultimately, he had to get 45 stitches back there, okay? He said, you know, from time to time, he struggles with whether or not that situation made him a homosexual. No, baby. That does not make you a homosexual. It makes you a victim. Y'all, I'm without getting too, you know, serious about it, I refuse to live in a victim space. I refuse to let that person who victimized me, okay, control me for the rest of my life. No, you live with that guilt. 
I'm gonna be okay. The second year incarcerated, his mother disappeared on him. No visits, no letter, nothing. She was arrested uh, because one of the inmates in the same jail as Midnight had told her that if you don't bring jail drugs into this jail, we're gonna kill your son, okay? Which led to her incarceration. Four years later, after his release, his mother was in a hospital. Soon death would be upon her, okay? She did leave a will. She was able to save a good chunk of money, okay? He would be able to get the money once his sister Effie turned 18. There was a man who took him in, okay? He was jobless and homeless. The man treated him like a son, and he considered that man to be like his father, okay? Uh, I believe that was Santiago. Midnight ended his letter with, but could you think about me instead of the whole world? Could you think about just me? Because you know the men be soft on the inside. It's one thing, they will put one in a nigga, okay? But when they need their women, they need their women, okay? That's, that's, that's what makes us stronger because... Listen, for all you men that's listening, I'm telling you, you know, although it's hard to be a black man, it is extremely hard. I would not do that. You are a target every day, okay? But to support a black man, that's even harder. In October 1993, Sister Soldier responds, I'm sorry to hear about your mother. She repeated her same sentiment. Drugs destroy our community. It was placed here to destroy us. So in February 1994, Midnight writes back again. I'm a free man now that does what he wants. Please call me. Okay. Now, I can't say exactly, but I really do believe that this is during the time that uh, uh, Winter and him were sitting in the park and B Midnight or Bilal, whatever the hell his name was, was like, I'm out, girl. Now, Back to winter, the maid at the Holiday Inn banged on the door, then eventually let herself in. Okay, are you checking out today, ma'am? Winter, rude ass, gets up, get the do not disturb sign and puts it on the outside of the door, looks at the maid, like get the fuck out, bitch, and the lady got the message. Okay, goodbye. Winter says that she doesn't want to sleep at the same place twice, okay? So she got herself together and headed to the mall so she can get something to eat at the food court and spend that old lady money who she rock them, sock them, robots in the head. She said at the food court, she was thinking about her next move. The most recent letter from Midnight that was sent to uh, Sister Soldier was from Silver Spring, Maryland, okay? All of the other letters came from the Brooklyn area, okay? And let me say this, ooh, New York and DC do a lot of business together, whether it's in the streets, okay? Or whether it's just those people thinking that they can come down to DC, to, you know, or Maryland to make themselves a better life, okay? You know, I, I remember back in the 80s, it was a whole bunch of dudes with thick-ass New York accents coming down to our city to, you know, get their money, okay? Child, and it went bad. Now, Winter is completely out of her mind. She young, but I don't think I, you know, made some young, dumb... I mean, maybe when I was like seven, you know, I thought that I could just fly away with a handsome prince and he would save me, you know. But Winter, in her mind, like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, fly out to midnight to Silver Spring, Maryland, and we're going to live happily ever after. No, bitch, suppose he is there living with a family. It's Montgomery okay. County. You know, it was the third richest county in the world at one time. So I could see somebody wanting to move to Silver Spring, Maryland, you know, to get a better life. Right. Is at the counter talking to somebody. I, I don't ask me about how you can buy a ticket at the mall. I don't I don't know. But I didn't start getting on planes to like maybe two thousand. Okay. But anyway, Winter is at the counter talking to the woman about how she's gonna get from New Jersey to Silver Spring. Okay, the woman breaks it down to her. Okay, the closest airport is, of course, BWI. The woman also tells her that you can get there, but you would have to take a shuttle to Newark Airport. Now, the woman asks her, will this be a round-trip ticket? Okay, Winter response is, no way. He is proclaiming his love for Sister Soldier in these letters. Why do you want him, girl? Why do you want him? Why are you determined to have this man? Because believe me, when you get there, he is not going to be the same midnight, the same block boy, okay, that you 
know and love that's in Santiago's shadow, you know, supposedly. He's not going to be the same. Woman at the counter said, ma'am, a ticket one way would be $300. Winter was like, I'll be back. She won't be back because she didn't decided to catch a damn bus. Okay, now, she had the Greyhound about to spend $65 to get to the Silver Spring, Maryland Greyhound uh, bus station, okay? And then someone else, you know, caught her attention. Uh, round way ticket or round, what is it, round whatever, both way ticket to uh, Maryland for $35. Went to say, bitch, give me my money back. I'm going over here to the Peter Pan. When she gets there and she buys the ticket, the woman said, let's see it, baby. You know, these are special tickets, okay? You ain't going to be able to get your money back on this. This is, you know, once you buy this, you bought it. Okay? Before the bus boarded, Winter got something to eat and bought a magazine for the five-hour drive. She said she was falling in love with him all over again by reading his letters. Bitch, he's not writing these letters to you. He's writing these letters to Sister Soldier, baby. He is fall He is in love with Sister Soldier. Now the bus you know. rolled in 15 minutes early. She attempted to board early, but the bus driver said no. Wait, she and stepped and away from the bus. Okay, and then she heard a small beep, 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 beep inside of her Nike duffel bag. Okay, she found the beeper. It was bullet. Damn, what do he want? He wants you some push head. He want push head. That's why he wants some of you, girl. With so five he... minutes left before boarding the bus, she decided to call him back, okay? Now, she didn't have time to go to a pay phone, so what she did was found this businessman that was standing over there, okay? She was like, oh, I might can ask him to borrow. So she go over there to him and tell him a sob story. Sir, please Please let me use your phone. My sister is at home with a rabbit hanging out of her neck. Please, sir, please let me use your phone. Now, suspicious, the man said, here you go. Now, Bullet says, happy birthday, girl. You official now. Damn, it's been a year. Damn, her whole life tur turned just like that in a year. In mm -hmm. one year. She, meaning Winter, almost forgot that today was her birthday, okay? He goes, where you at? I'm coming to get you. She goes, I'm in New Jersey shopping. Well, it says, hey, how about you spend your birthday with me in Key West? Okay. I told you I was next in line, and your man is going to take good care of you, baby. Now, the businessman is asking for his phone back, okay? Went to try to pretend like it's another nigga because, you know, bullet making threats, so she's trying to make him jealous. Who that? Who that? Who that nigga in the background? <laughs> you ain't nobody, bullet. My man say get away from me. He say get away from me. The man reaches for his phone. Winter jumps out of his reach and says, My man told you, get the fuck on. Move, move. Leave me alone. I can't talk to you no more. Now, the confused phone order warned her, I'm going to get security. I'm going to call the police on your bitch ass. Winter, okay. Now, before she gets off the phone, she tells Bullet, pick me up at Nordstrom on Route 4 in Jersey, right over the GW Bridge. I'll be on the north side entrance. Don't worry, baby. I'm on the way. Bullet, one more thing. Where's Key West? It's in Florida, baby. Now, if you have not already done so, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because it is so important to our success here on the YouTube. Now, and remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down, my naysayers, my patron loves. You babies, have a good one.